some guests today. Um, director, producer extraordinaire, Mas Mastro, right? Marcel. Marcel. Maestro. Bro, do that shit over. Oh, well. Stoic Lifestyle TV, this is Byron Brazzle here. I got uh, amazing cast, amazing guests today. I'm here with unorthodox genius, Marceau. T, directed, produced thousands of films so far. You guys got to look him up. Um, also, I have my brother, celebrity trainer, Bracky Brazzle. Look him up, Bracky Brazzle, at YouTube. B-R-A-K-K-I, Brazzle, B-R-A-Z-Z-L-E. Today, glad I had you guys here. I didn't even know they was coming today. Uh, we just got done eating some uh, amazing meatloaf and mashed potatoes. And we just going over like some business ideas, entrepreneur ideas for people who are on their journey right now as far as health and fitness. And if they want to get into the actual film industry as well, uh, some tips and trades and techniques in order to get into that field. So, first and foremost, I'm going to pass it over to the unorthodox genius himself. Tell me how long you've been doing film, man. I've been doing professional film and photography since 2010, mm. and I've been taking it more serious since about 2014. Okay. So, and everything in between then to now has been a learning experience. Okay, so absolutely. Wins, losses, all that. So this is your passion. This is what you always want to do all passion. your this life. This is what I would do. This is what I would do if 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 the world ended, I would still try to do it uh. and share it with people. So that's what's up. He's really good at it too. Yeah, yeah. I see him. He been doing a couple films for you. I've been, I, me and my um, wife, we we've been enjoying the films you guys been collaborating together doing. We're a good team. Um, We're a great team. Yeah, and I see you have a facility yourself up in Largo in Pinellas County training celebrity athletes yeah, and man. actors and actresses. He makes all the money. I just, I'm in the pastors. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we did some stuff together, man. We work very well together. He got a lot of great ideas. He's really good at what he does. And um, he's very passionate about it. Like, I ain't got to go out and look for somebody who ain't really passionate about doing it. And you know he doesn't care about money. That's not the. That's not the. That's not the. Mm. You know. The end game. Yeah. The end yeah. game for him. He just he does it because he's passionate about it and he loves it. So. That's good. I, I honestly believe when you're doing something that you love to do, you can just do it like it's a job, and that's what you're supposed to be doing. Um, finding what your passion is, and that will allow you to keep propelling to next levels, and so on. Um, but yeah, first and foremost, let's talk about you also, the personal training that you got. You got a facility in Largo, right? Like, I, I, uh, I work at a facility in Largo. Um, just training, man. Just working with people, helping them get, get in good shape and, you know, helping them so that they don't have diabetes or if they have diabetes, we can, we can reverse that. And, um, you know, I like doing it. I, I, I enjoy doing it. That's what's up, that's what's up. I mean, you guys do mesh well with one another because you guys both doing something you like to do and you're actually recording it. He's the talent, man. I just, I play off of him. Yeah. He's just, he gives me something, he gives me a good product. I always say you gotta have a good product to put on screen. I'm like Coke. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, product. if it was somebody that was like, you know, trying to get into, do something that, what you want to do, what would you... What was the advice that you would give? I would say film on your phone, number one. Uh -huh. The phone is your first camera. Uh -huh. I didn't back when I when I was first starting it, the phone cameras were terrible. Film on your phone, that's uh -huh. your best thing. If you've got the money and you can go out and get expensive stuff, go out and get it. But do your research first, because I've come across some cameras that I thought were good that didn't work for me. Uh -huh. So and um you gotta be passionate about it. Because uh -huh. it's gonna be times when it's like personal stuff is gonna be going on. And you're not gonna want to do it, but I tell Brad all the time: when you don't want to do something, is when you're supposed to do it the most. Yeah. So, because anybody can get out of bed and train and all the other stuff when they yeah. feel good, when they feel great. It's what you do when the chips are down and you're broke and you got this going on and bills and personal stuff, and you're still doing it. That's how you know that it's supposed to be getting done. So. What was the moment that made you make that leap of faith? and just cut out everything that you had going on just to do I, get thrown I, into your passion. I mean, you I'm the only do. one in my family that didn't go to college. Okay. Because I just like, I don't know, it could be like a medical thing, it could be a personality thing. 
I, just, I did school, but it just wasn't for me. And so I heard somewhere that once you, once you stop caring about what people think, mm. you're on your way to do, you know, what you want to do mm. and what you're good at. And so I've, I've struggled a lot with making my parents happy mm. and making my family, like, proud of me and stuff like that. And once I came to the conclusion that it's my life, because that was the whole reason I even went to the schools I went to, was to keep everybody at bay and quiet and happy and stuff like that. And I wasted, like, four years of my life. Mm. I, 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 and I don't regret it. Yeah. I don't regret calling them wasted. Because I was in a situation where I was like, I had to do what everybody was telling me to do just because I was young. I didn't have that self-esteem to be like, all right, I'm young, I'm naive, but I'm still going to do what I want to do. I was just going right along with it. And then, like, right around, like, 25, 26, I started to, like, get out of it and realize, you know, like, I'm this is my life that I'm living. Yeah. You know, if I want to move and I got to leave some people behind, you know, that's that's what I'm going to do. And I don't, I don't, I'm not from, like, a great area anyway so it wasn't it was like a, a no-brainer yeah but wow yeah, man, the I, crazy thing about like marceau like when we met which was uh, like a year ago a little over a year ago but like when i was in my 20s i was like that too like i was like i was like going man i'm always on the road i'm in a different state um you know chasing my dream I, I do i really i got a passion i want to do something and then like when you get older you know kids come kids are getting older or you get in a relationship kind of like slow down and you, and you start like falling into the norm you know what I'm saying getting a job and working and stuff like that but like having him when he came into my life again you know it was like or when he came into my life I started to like be become aware of like that's who I am. That's what I like to do. So you would say, like, surrounding yourself with like-minded people? Oh, definitely. It's probably like the thing that... I know you heard if you hang out with five losers, or four losers would be the fifth one or sixth one. If you hang out with, with like-minded people, you're going to get, you're going to do what you're supposed to be doing. Make a lot of sense. Make a lot of sense. It's saying, like, hanging out with like-minded people. It's like, but when you lose that, 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 you can lose that mindset, too. Like, what I was saying, like, you, you, when you're younger in your mid-20s or whatever, you got this propel, like you just, you just going for it, like 18, 19, move to California, Arizona, New York, all over the place. And then when you get older, you get kids and stuff start to like, you start to settle yeah. down. Then, so when, when I met him, it was like, he got that fire, like, you know, man, you gotta, you gotta do stuff, you gotta move, you gotta move. And I needed that in my life because I got kids and, you know, I'm thinking like people going to judge me because I'm not working and I'm not doing the norm mm. shit because I don't want to do that. I, I mm. feel like I got a lot of talent and if I don't do what I want to do in my life, then when I, from when I was young to now, I done wasted time. That mm. was a waste. That was like, what were you doing? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. My my thing is where I came to um to a conclusion and I often speak, you know, talk to mom about this, is like um sometimes you gotta go on that yellow brick road, like the story, to understand that you already had a heart and a brain. So like it's it's a metaphor in a lot of these movies, books and stuff that we read and a lot of it is trying to get you to get more in touch with yourself and not listen to the distractions of people who want you to and that's what it is yeah it's a distraction yeah because if you if you weren't if you weren't supposed to be doing it you wouldn't feel that way when you do it uh. like i mean like okay you can say that about my drugs but as far as passion wise and doing something positive yeah you wouldn't feel that type of way when you do it and that's why certain people do certain things that's why some people are doctors and some people are lawyers and some people are rappers and personal trainers and cameramen and, and and painters and sculptors and stuff like yeah. that. Like, yeah, it's not giving me a million dollars a year yet, yeah. but I can't explain to you this feeling that, I, I was in a relationship with a girl, man, when I first started doing photo and video for real. Yeah. And I was like, I love you, but I will never feel about you the way that I do about photography and video. And I meant it, and I still mean it, and it's still the truth. I can, I, 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 like, love and stuff like that is cool, but it's like that feeling that you get of like, I'm putting this together, this vision, this is going to be here after I'm gone. Yeah. All these videos you're doing after you leave this earth, they're still going to be here for people to see. Yeah, and, see yeah. and I'm a part of that. Like, it's my job to get across your idea yeah. for people to see it. it, it 
It's, and it's you know, it's like you just, you hold. It's like you're holding it in your hands, and you put a product together, and that's what I feel yeah. like. You know, having that like-minded person, I'm blessed to have a partner that supports me um, in these times of um, going about doing my passion, what I want to do, and uh, for you guys to be in my life during this time period, it tells me that you. You guys are meant to be in my life as you well, because even um, with what we doing right now, this is going to help thousands, maybe even millions of people, because we're actually jumping out there and we're telling our story. So the big goal, I mean, we had a conversation with one another, and, it, and you were speaking on it's all about how many people that you actually help, mm -hmm. and that's when you're going to get rewarded. I feel like blessings come when you, it, it all, they want to see how much can you endure. How long can you endure and how how much do you actually believe in you know the power source of whatever that's allowing you to rise, allowing you to go, allowing you to do things, like that good positive energy, that support system just just catapults you in a whole different realm. But it's a it's a school in Tampa, it's a um it's an all girls school. Mm. It's like mostly minority women or minority little girls that go to this like school. Like it's an after school program. So um, I got a call from a from or I got a message on Facebook from a guy I used to take acting class with, and uh, he was like, "You want to be in this film?" And I was like, "Yeah, man, I really do." And I didn't know what I was expecting to get into, and that's what I like about acting because you never know what you're gonna get into. But I go down there. I follow the address and I go down there and I find out there's a bunch of little girls that actually wrote a script, they're producing it, they're filming it themselves. They got like people to help them or whatever, like older people, but um, like for them to put that together, and it's on YouTube too. I help, I was a part of that, what they put together and then like they looked at me like I was the professional, like I was the, like some, some star and to be able to tell them, like, you know what I'm saying, keep going and, and keep keep doing what you're passionate about was, like, like magical. I mean, you are, though. Like, your resume speaks for itself. Like, the, yeah, the acting jobs you did, oh, yeah, yeah. the people that you train. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's, for me, like, consistency, man, I, I man, you've got to keep going and doing it, man. Because if you stop for a month, it just weighs on you. To me, it does, because I know I could be putting out more and more content. The more you do it, the better you get at it, right? Yeah. So if you stop doing it, then it's like you got to start back, and then you kind of like rusty, and that, that, you know, that wheel isn't turning the way it's supposed to. But that's the only thing I can say about being consistent. One of my things, too, in the ideology that I try to um, teach in um, the stoic lifestyle, stoic is a person that can endure pain without complaining and understanding that the actual complaint or the, the negative thinking, that's what's holding you back from reaching your full potential. Um, when we, I feel like when we realize that, we're able to get anything that we want. You know, that's that's my whole like, it's willpower. Little um, it's like he said, ideology. He said yeah. But yeah, we're about to, um, she said she ain't got that much time, but um, thank you guys. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed yet. Also, um, follow my brother. I uh, am on Instagram, Mr. underscore bracket on Instagram. Also, unorthodox genius. Just Google me, unorthodox genius, spelled the correct way. Also, that chisel blueprint is still on special promotion right now. Look in the description below. Thank you.